Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. So an MRI is a really cool giant magnet. It is a, it's actually a marvel of physics. It's, it's the use of a magnet to vibrate and bounce energy off of our hydrogen ions, which are all throughout our body. And if we think about our bodies, our bodies have about 60 to 70% water in different tissues. Fatty tissues have less, other tissues have more. And because of that, the hydrogen ions, hydrogen ions in the water will bounce at different rates. And the magnets would, will pick up a signal at different rates. So using the magnets of different energies, different settings, we can really fine tune what is inside us, seeing through the skin, which we otherwise can't. That allows us to image inside the body, take a look at organs, take a look at their function, their, their anatomy, take a look at spines, look at discs, look at the spaces where nerves are supposed to travel, look at joints. We're able to use a non-invasive technique to look through somebody in a way that surgeons had to, once upon a time, open somebody up just to see what was inside them. They had to start with surgery to see what was inside. And nowadays, we can get somebody in a scanner into a tube that uses a completely non-invasive technology using magnets to get an image with clarity so that we can see through somebody and help us diagnose what they're being uh, afflicted with. MRIs are performed typically in hospitals, or there are some private uh, out-of-hospital clinics that will perform MRIs. They are giant magnets, so safety is important. No metal can enter into the MRI room. If somebody has metal inside them, something that is magnetic, it can be ripped out of them. So if somebody has been on a construction site and they've had uh, a nail embedded in them for, from an accident, that nail could be fly out, out of them, ripping through their, their tissues into the magnet. So that would be dangerous. And that's why there's going to be screening for every MRI before somebody gets to the MRI. Sometimes, if somebody isn't so clear, they're going to review old operative reports to see what kind of metal was used in a surgery to see before, for a surgery that, to see if it, that metal is magnetic. Other times, x-rays are going to be taken ahead of time to see, does somebody have a nail inside them or do they not? Does somebody have a piece of something else inside them, or do they not? Afterwards, when somebody is ready for an MRI, they have to get uh, be aware of the metal yet again. Not only what's inside them, but what's on them. They can't bring in their cell phone. They can't bring in their keys. They can't bring anything that could have a, a reaction to a magnet that could be pulled away from them or, or injure somebody along the way. And when they are actually prepped and ready for the MRI, they just lie down. It's a long cylindrical tube. That tube is something that people slide into and slide out of when it's done. It does take time though, and it can be a little bit loud as the magnets do their job. And because of that noise, because it is a tube that's an enclosed space, some people do get claustrophobic. So sometimes they need to either take some medication beforehand to make them calm, or sometimes they just meditate, or, or in some places they will have music or other you know, auditory signals to keep them calm. But being still during the MRI is extremely important because every time we move, the picture moves. And if it's taking a picture once a second, but we're moving faster than a second, well, that picture is going to be blurry. Or at least some parts of that picture are going to be blurry. So it is important to be as still as possible when directed by the MRI technicians to be still so that a good picture is taken. Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.